I wanted this room to look like that picture of Calc Abbey, this one here, where there's these big, beautiful oil paintings and these gold frames. Only problem is, I don't have big oil paintings and I don't have gold frames. So, what to do? Can I turn these super cheap frames from Walmart into something that will look like a million bucks in my new English Country House library? Hey, this is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com and today I am going to try to make the cheapest frames I could find at Walmart into something that looks like a beautiful aged gold frame for my new library. So let's get started. These are a little different from other frames. You, you, you work these corners until the glass pops out. Okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. So yeah, you just you go around each corner and you just kind of push and then your glass comes out. And it's got a little cardboard back. I'm gonna paint over my little uh, glass front frame. I'm gonna get the edge and then actually I am also gonna paint the side. When you are painting these kind of frames, make sure that you paint on that edge and then also on the inside because just a little bit of this inside vertical side does show when you put your picture and glass in. Um, I found that out the hard way by putting in my picture and glass. And um, seeing that there was a little black line. So I had to take it all out and it's a big mess and go back over it. Okay, my 20 by 30 frame, I already went ahead and put the poster in there that I wanted in there because the plastic doesn't seem to detach from the black frame and I just didn't wanna, I tried to pop it out and it didn't seem to wanna go and I didn't wanna run the risk of cracking it. And I, if I get any paint splatters, I'll just you know scrape them off. I am gonna take a little sanding block and just kind of go over this super shiny plastic because I think that might help it grip a little better. So the first thing I'm doing is painting the base coat, driftwood, semi-gloss, which is what you're supposed to paint as the base coat to the Valspar Brilliant Metals Aged Brass. And it's going okay on this super shiny plastic. Um, it's, it's covering about as well as I would expect. Okay, so here is the frame after two coats of the driftwood color base coat. And it has stuck to the plastic pretty well. You can still see some of the black plastic frame shining through, but it's nothing that I'm worried enough about to go over it a third time. Pretty, it was easy. I didn't get any drips on my plastic, I mean my glass. I, I just used this, I think it's a two inch uh, purdy angled brush. And um, I was able to stay on that edge and avoid getting on the plastic altogether, which is nice, but I had a, a rag here just in case. This is how it looks after one coat of the driftwood base coat. It sticks better to this plastic because it's not as shiny as that other plastic. And I don't, I'm not even gonna go over it a second time. This will be good enough. I'm trying to use just a corner of my brush so I don't get the plastic there. The laziest picture frame painting. Just wanted to do a quick project. But no, seriously, I think on these poster frames, the plastic's not even meant to pop out. You know, they're just, they're very, very inexpensive. This one was six or seven dollars. are the finished products here's the fatter frame with the that was that shiny plastic and now it's gold not too shabby and of course it's the same paint as I used up there on the trim and again here's the two Boigle posters with their
faux metal frames, the narrow little gold around the edge. I think they look pretty good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it down below. And I am Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. If you love English country style and French country style and Swedish country style, there's a lot more material here on my channel and over at my blog, oldworldfarmhouse.com.